just show you how to change the indicator on the LV XR5 or RS Mark II. We're going to put a tinted one in. You can buy sequential ones, or you can buy smoked ones, black ones, whatever. The factory ones after about 10 years start to crack a little bit along here. So we're just going to show you how to do it. Uh, you only need two tools. Trim tool, trim tool. You can just use one or the other. First we've got to remove the cover. I find it easiest to start at this corner and you basically pop all this side out and then it will lift up. So taking either of your trim tools very carefully, put it in between in the gap and just push it. See, you can see that's released already. So now we just work up along the top. Being very careful. You don't want to slip and put a big scratch in it. So just gently take your time. Cool, and now that top bit's out. Just grab the cover. You slide it all the way up like that. Right, so now the lens has a little hook here, and it's got a hook at this end. This one's the bigger one, so you want to just take your smaller trim tool, basically get it behind it, and just lever it that little bit forward. Then you can slide it out, pull your bulb out. Now, if you're putting just a smoke one of these on, obviously leave the bulb in, push it back in. We're changing it to a LED tinted one. So we're going to have to take the bulb out, like that. And LEDs are polarity sensitive. So these aftermarket ones just have a little kind of circuit board to re replicate the wedge bulb. You've got a 50-50 chance when you plug it straight in that you're going to have it the correct way around. So just plug it in, pop your indicator on. Cool, and I got it right. So once you've checked that you've got the polarity correct, you can see the hook bit there. You literally just want to slide it in like that, and then click it in. And now we can put our cover on. So you can see these are your vertical tabs. One there, one there, one there. These are horizontal ones. So you want to line these up with the slots. Push it down so it clicks. And then just the top bit, squeeze it towards itself. So if it doesn't go in first go, you can always just pull it back out again, check everything's lined back up, and try again. She's done.